using properties of operations to rewrite expressions. Let's review the commutative property. The commutative property states that reordering the terms of an addition expression does not change its value. For example, a plus b equals b plus a. We also know that we can rewrite subtraction expressions as addition and addition expressions as subtraction by using the additive inverse. For example, a plus b equals a minus negative b. Also, a minus b equals a plus negative b. We use keep, change, change. Use properties of operations to rewrite the following expression. Then evaluate negative 49 hundredths plus one and one half. This expression may look intimidating to solve, but once we rewrite it, it will look a little friendlier. First, notice we have one decimal and one mixed number. We want to convert one of them so they're both in the same form. I'm going to choose to use all decimals. Negative 0 0.49 plus one and one half as a decimal is 1.5. Next, let's use the commutative property to flip the numbers. Now we have 1.5 plus negative 0 0.49. Lastly, let's use the additive inverse. Let's keep 1.5, change addition to subtraction, and change negative 0 0.49 to positive 0 0.49. Now we can easily solve 1.5 minus 0 0.49 equals 1.01. .01. Use properties of operations to rewrite the following expression. Then evaluate negative 5 and 1 half minus 1 and 75 hundredths plus 2 and 3 fifths. First, we must convert all rational numbers to the same form. I'm going to convert all the fractions to decimals. Negative 5 and 1 half as a decimal is negative 5.5. 2 and 3 fifths as a decimal is 2.6. Let's start evaluating from left to right. We will use the additive inverse to evaluate negative 5.5 minus 1.7. Let's keep negative 5.5, change subtraction to addition, and change positive 1.75 to negative 1.75. Negative 5.5 plus negative 1.75 is negative 7.25. Using the rules for adding integers, negative 7.25 plus 2.6 equals negative 4.65. Use properties of operations to rewrite the following expression. Then evaluate negative 2.5 minus negative 5 and 6 tenths. First, let's convert all rational numbers to the same form. I like to convert fractions to decimals. Negative 2.5 minus negative 5.6. Next, let's use the additive inverse. Let's keep negative 2.5, change subtraction to addition, and change negative 5.6 to positive 5.6. We can use the commutative property to make this look a little bit better. 5.6 minus 2.5 equals 3.1. Use properties of operations to rewrite the following expression. Then evaluate 4.4 minus negative 1 and 1 half. First, let's convert our rational numbers to the same form. I'm going to choose to convert the fraction to the decimal. 4.4 minus negative 1.5. Next, let's use the additive inverse. Let's keep 4.4, change subtraction to addition, and change negative 1.5 to 
to positive 1.5. 4.4 plus 1.5 equals 5.9. Use properties of operations to rewrite the following expression, then evaluate. Negative 4 and 1 half minus negative 1.07 plus 3 and 1 fourth. First, let's convert all of our rational numbers to the same form. I'm going to convert the fractions to decimal form. Negative 4 and 1 half as a decimal is negative 4.5. 3 and 1 fourth as a decimal is 3.25. Now let's evaluate from left to right. First, I'm going to use the additive inverse. I'm going to keep negative 4.5, change subtraction to addition, and change negative 1.07 to positive 1.07. Negative 4.5 plus positive 1.07 is negative 3.43. That plus 3.25 equals negative 0 0.18. Let's review how to use properties of operations to rewrite expressions. To evaluate expressions, we can use the commutative property, convert rational numbers to the same form, and use the additive inverse 